Well, greetings, everyone. This is the National Chaplain, and I want to address an important uh, subject with you during a unique crisis that we are all walking in at this time. It's called suicide prevention and awareness. And you're probably wondering to yourself, why are we even discussing this again? Well, if you're a veteran, or dependent or a caretaker of a veteran, you already have anxiety, you probably already feel isolated, and you uh, already have some mental health struggles that you're dealing with. Well, COVID-19 pandemic has exasperated those conditions, and so therefore you're dealing with a double portion. Because we are told to stay at home or hunker in our bunker, as I like to say it, many no longer have the positive outlets they once had to stave off depression and loneliness. Many are struggling financially or away from friends and loved ones. The uncertainty and loneliness can weigh heavily on anyone and can make a difficult life more difficult. However, the disabled American veterans in times of crisis has always come together and pulled its resources to assist veterans and their dependents. It's important to recognize that while we may be physically separated, we are alone together. We need to continue to perform buddy checks. Get creative if you have to. Use social media to bring back that togetherness that our organization is known for, such as video chat outlets like Zoom and Skype, emails, texting, or phone calls to veterans to remind them that we're all in this together and they are not forgotten. In the presentation, you will find the do's and don'ts when speaking with someone who's considering suicide. If you don't know what to do, that's okay. There are tips that will assist you in walking through the process. Get to know what the signs and symptoms are, what are the myths and the truths about this condition, and know how to uh, contact uh, the appropriate individuals to receive help and to get help. Review this presentation over and over again until the information is second nature. We may be alone together, but this does not have to be a more difficult time as, as the pandemic has made it. Reach out to one another. Remember, those considering suicide may not want to reach out to anyone, so it is our duty to reach out to them. You will find more detailed information with links to resources that are found in the attached PowerPoint presentation. Keep in mind that this too shall pass and will not last forever. Use your tactical patience. Take appropriate steps to protect yourself, so we can all come back together and do the things we love to do, enjoy one another's company, and assist veterans and dependents. You are loved, and there is hope. Thank you.